being here. I really couldn't begin the program until I recognized the work that is done on a daily basis in a really unselfish way. If you've never served in a volunteer position, serving on Board of Education is one of the most honorable things that you can do. Um, it is serving children, and I cannot think of a better thing to do if you're going to volunteer time. So tonight, I'd like to introduce to you President Lee Gray. Sanders, Clay Lopez, and Kathy Oshusky. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, these are great people to work with, and I really appreciate the opportunity to talk with you every day and help in guiding the direction of this district. So let me begin. I'm going to watch, see if you stay awake. Okay. All the lights go out, so that's how it works. I am a strong advocate for public education because I believe it is one, if not the most important thing, that rests on the future of this nation. The expectations for student graduation have changed since I graduated. When I graduated, there were no cell phones. The primary source of information was from television, and technology did not play a life in any of, a role in any of our, our young lives. Twitter was the nickname for my tall girlfriend in high school. Facebook was a senior yearbook, and a blog was a big mess on my paper when my pen leaked. Today, over 250 million iPods were sold to a market of technology users, mostly between the ages of 15 and 40. Apple is set to launch the revolutionary iPad. 450 bucks, kids have in their hands a small pad that adjusts in any way, has word processing, calendar, internet, email, photography, GPS, instant music, television shows, or a video recorder. This is the world our children live in today. Another reality changing education is the world economy. I want you to consider this. America is 5% of the world's population, but we consume 24% of the world's assets. We are a nation of consumers. If we want our children to continue living a certain lifestyle, we have to think differently. This new economy is set in an information-rich society surrounded by digital data, and lifelong learning will be the key to unlocking the future. People should expect to change careers, not jobs, careers, six or seven times in their life. If you stop learning, you will become unemployed and unemployable. Competitive innovation will produce hot jobs that are hard to imagine now. And I want you to think about it in this way. Kindergarten students entering school next school year will likely retire sometime in 2065. Nobody has a clue what the world is looking like in five to 10 years Yet, we are meant to be educating for it. The unpredictability is extraordinary. It is my belief, however, that students have tremendous talents, and I want to make sure we don't squander them. Tonight, I want to talk about the extraordinary role in education in shaping the future, and during your journey tonight, you will learn about this direction, meet some teachers, and learn about some of the things they are doing, and we'll discuss a community outreach opportunity, review the status of our facilities, and take a look at the financial situation that looms ahead. Rigor, relevance, and relationships. These are three important factors.